in the abstract, in the government department, politics, the study of politics is the study of power. Um, who has it? Who gets it? Who wants it? How did they get it? How did they distribute it? And so forth. It's the study of power. And abstractly, we understand what that is. Concretely, it's hard to get sometimes. And there's nothing like wandering around with your eyes closed, totally in the power of somebody else, to really understand what it means to have power and what it means to exercise it. So each student was charged with researching a different country and the environmental conditions and conflicts within that country and then how that is shaping the policy and landscape of the politics. Having to physically construct a movement with your own body and using other people's bodies in these different ways really helped people understand why those decision-making structures are different. Not only are they, they come out with different outcomes, but you feel differently when you're in them. You feel differently as the leader, you feel differently as the, as the follower. Because what I notice in the class is that um, how you lead when you're leading one individual through um, what you found in your research or um, sharing with the class is very different than how you might lead um, an entire group. Um, so I was interested in finding a structure that would allow them to both practice um, what it's like to be a leader and what it's like to follow and um, what it's like to move between those roles. And I think a lot of students really understood that at a much deeper level, having done the exercise than they had beforehand. One of the things that the students liked a lot is that political science and political courses engage with emotional content. And in a normal classroom setting, there's not a safe or appropriate, really, way to engage with that. And through these exercises, the students are able to tap into why these political systems make them mad or make them angry or make them happy or have hope. And those are sort of emotional content that you can't express in a normal classroom. And so having exercises that do that were great for that class, and I've, I've been able to, to use that in other classes. Uh, and so that was an interdisciplinary learning experience for me and a way that I could enrich my, my own teaching.